Buzzer beating, thrilling finish in the Vine Center on Saturday night as the Liberty men's basketball team knocks off Radford 57 to 54. The final score alongside Paul Nazigan. My name is Nick Pierce. And Paul, I didn't know. I didn't know that the bank was open at 10 minutes to 9 o'clock on a Saturday night. But apparently it's open for A.C. Reed as he bangs in the game winner at the buzzer and the Flames go to 10-2 and two now in the Big South Conference. Just the way they drew it up, right? That's right. Amazing, amazing finish. Exciting. And, you know, you and I have been around a long time and seen a lot of these Radford Liberty uh, battles and a lot of them get out of the wire. This one just incredible finish. A.C. Reed just sinks the, the deep three uh, just like they drew it up. It was, it was amazing. <laughs> great crowd, great finish. And what was really great about it is that A.C. Reed was 0 for 5 from 3 on the night before that shot. The Flames had only hit one three in the second half. Yeah, and, and that goes to what Coach McKay says about this group, that they're never down on themselves. They keep fighting. They believe in themselves and each other. They're unselfish. And so, you know, even as maybe ugly as the second half was with both teams not shooting real well, when it came winning time, guys stepped up. They made some big plays, big stops, and none bigger than the, than the final shot of the game. Flames trailed by three at halftime. Came out in the second half, and at one point, Paul uh, Radford was shooting 22%. Uh, finished up in the second half, uh, shot about 36 37% for that half. But uh, we really saw the Flames do some things defensively to, to keep them out of the paint in the second half. Yeah, they really did a great readjustment at halftime. Radford, you know, again, great job by Radford. They came in here uh, you know, on, on a little bit of a losing streak but really had a good game plan. They jumped on Liberty in that first half, um, getting offensive rebounds and scoring uh, from their bigs, but also with some threes. And Liberty, Liberty back on their heels a little bit, but they come out in that second half and really do what they do best, just completely uh, locked down on, in the second half. Great defensive effort and got just enough offense to uh, pull out a huge victory. Flames sweep the season series from the Highlanders with the win here tonight. And afterwards, we had a chance to catch up with A.C. Reed and some of the other Flames. I thought I had missed it when it left my hands, but it went in, and I was just like, oh, my goodness. Like, <laughs> hey, we had to grind that one out. It was a good win for us. Uh, we just say, like, we, we were going to make a game-winning shot. So, like, we were very confident. We knew that A.C. was going to hit that shot, so we were very confident on ourselves. And I mean, you see like the difference between second half and first half. We played more physical and we were more, more locked in, in in our defense. Like you knew something was bound to happen. Radford doesn't go down easy, especially with Cousins as their engine. So uh, it wasn't a shocker that he hit the shot. It wasn't like he just went over and then hit that shot. Uh, it was like it was like a dang. I, I wish he didn't hit the shot, but we know he's capable. So uh, it was just next possession. We, we couldn't focus on that. We had to go next possession. Man, I seen the lane. He, he went for my shot fake. Seen him get off balance, and I took my two steps, and I was like, oh, I can flush this one. So I turned it over and I put it down. And when you reside near the top of the standings, you're usually going to get the other teams one of their best shots, and we certainly got it tonight. But I was proud of our group, you know, to, to not shoot the ball like we're capable of. For Mayo, who struggled offensively, and Ryan Kimright didn't make a three and missed two free throws, which I haven't even seen that in practice. So uh, I felt like our guys really, really showed some growth and some maturity to come out with a win in a very difficult setting after Justin Cousins made the three. You know, that's a stop that we've been getting. We've been getting the nail in the coffin stop, and we didn't. And uh, for us to rally back and feel good about uh, the last play, uh, we're fortunate. So the Flames get the win over the Radford Highlanders tonight. Again, your final 57-54. Georgie Pacheco-Ortiz, 15 points tonight to lead the way for Liberty. Six rebounds, three assists, a steal, and no turnovers for a third straight game. Then John Dawson with 12 points, posterized one of Radford's players in the first half, by the way, on a nasty dunk. We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Paul, I think the impressive part is that the Flames did this really without Ryan Kimright. I mean, he was in foul trouble most of the night, only played about 16 minutes, and they still found a way to win. Yeah, and also in a game that you knew post players were going to be huge with what Radford had, really they don't get a whole lot from Mayo Baxter-Bell, so two key components, and Liberty finds a way to win. Other guys step up and uh, you know at big times, and, and, and that's a sign of a great team. When, when other guys can, can do the job on any given night, 
and and the other ones have the confidence to believe in in each other. So just a great all around team win. Paul, did you ever have a dunk like John had in that first half? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll tell you. You know that was a, it. Was a great play, exciting dunk, but really. That's he cocked of, that thing back, man. He did, man. And <laughs> a couple things happened there. Number one, the, just the excitement got Liberty going. I mean, it yeah. was kind of flat. Radford had jumped out to a little bit of a lead. It was 11-2. Um, yeah. yeah. And, and it got the crowd into it. But after the dunk, Dawson was fired up, more so than mm-hmm. we really see him. And I think his teammates fed off of that. And you saw later in the game, Georgie was pumping the crowd, AC. And, and I, I really like seeing um, them kind of add that component where they're really, you can see guys are enthusiastic and, and, and on fire because I think it feeds how they play. So the Flames get the win here, 57-54 over the Highlanders. And Liberty in a three-way tie still for first place in the Big South. UNC Asheville and Winthrop both winning today as well. Next up, the Flames will travel to Gardner-Webb on Thursday night, 7 o'clock tip-off with the running Bulldogs. Liberty will try to sweep that season series as well. For Paul Nazigan, my name is Nick Pierce for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.